hi welcome back my name is monica and today in this video i'll talk about how you can edit your jira workflow in the previous video i have created my own jira workflow and the workflow name was demo workflow if you haven't watched that video yet then link mentioned in the description box go and watch that video before watching this video now we'll go to the inactive workflow because we have created a workflow but did not associate that workflow with any projects that's why this status is in an inactive state this is the workflow and now we will go and edit this workflow i'll click on these three dots and click on edit and here we have this is a text mode and this is a diagram mode you can choose whatever you will feel comfortable but the text mode is a modern way to edit the jira workflow the cool thing about the text mode is you can see the steps names and here are the linked statuses, transitions and actions that we can perform with these steps. Now we will go to the diagram and we will add some statuses and the transition in this demo workflow so that you can uh, see how we can add the statuses and transition and edit our own workflow. Here we have our two options add statuses and the add transitions. First of all, we will add a status. Let's suppose I want to add a status like in development. This is a new status I want to add and then I will click add. Here it is asking me about the category. So it will be in progress and then I will hit the create. this is my in development status let me make it to do to do to in progress to the in development you can see there are the red dots around the in development status because there is a no transition with this status as of now now we will go and we will add one more status uh, which will be in qa it will be a new status and I'll click on add again it is asking me about the categories it will still be in progress and I can write down the description if I want and then I will hit the create button now here we can see we have added the two statuses in development and in QA now I'm going to delete in progress and in review statuses so I can click here and here I have options to remove the statuses remember you can remove the statuses when your workflow is in edit mode and in inactive state but if your workflow is not in inactive state then you cannot remove the statuses you can click on remove statuses and it is asking about the confirmation yes I want to delete the in progress as of now I'll click on remove and I want to remove this in review status as well then I will click on in review and it will delete here we have the four statuses as of now to do in development in QA and done first of all like to do to in development in QA and done now I want to make a transition between to do to in development, in development to in QA and in QA to done. I'll click on in to do and then I will match these dots here. It will open this new transition screen and ask me about from status to to status. Yes, from to do to in development and the transition name will be in development. I can write down this description and I can choose the screen as well if I want to show some transition screen here but right now I don't want then I'll click on add and here we have our one transition between to do to in development and the transition name is in development let me make it more clear I can do it like this yes now of uh, this issue can transition from to do to in development but the issue cannot transition back from in development to to do so how we can solve it we have to make one more transition between in development to to do it is asking from and to status in development to to and again the transition name will be to do here i will click on add 
now i will add the other transitions between in development to qa qa to done in the same manner as i did for the to do and in development statuses i will do like this in development to qa and the transition name will be qa now from qa to in development and this will be in development i can hit the add now in qa to done and the transition name will be done now we will click on add and here we have the workflow with the four statuses and with few transitions our issue can transition between to do to in development in development to in qa in qa to done but our issue cannot back from done to qa because there is no transition from done to in qa but the issue can move back to in queue to in development then in development to to do back now we have this workflow the next step is how we can activate this workflow because right now it's in active state now i want to associate this workflow with the project so that it can become activate and i can use this workflow actually in the project so here is a project that i will use this is a development i'll click on the project development and now i will go to the project setting i'll click on project setting i'll go down and then i'll click on the workflows here here you can see we have the workflow software simplified workflow for project dev associated already with this project and they are using software simplified workflow scheme i have already explained what is workflow scheme basically but uh, i will make uh, another video for that where you can understand better what is workflow scheme and what is the use of the workflow scheme basically workflow scheme is nothing but it's a kind of a uh, box or you can say a bucket where we will keep our workflow and uh, where you can associate your workflow with the issue types i'll explain I'll, I'll make a separate video for that here we have a one workflow that associated with these issue types if we want to add it then we can but now i'm gonna associate or i'm gonna add one workflow with this workflow scheme i'll click on add existing and here i will look for the demo workflow this is my demo workflow i will choose that workflow you can see this is our demo workflow that we just designed now i'll click on next and here it is asking me assign the issue types to the demo workflow i want only the demo issue type and a story issue type and task issue type should use this demo workflow now i'll click on finish and you can see here we have the two workflow associated with the same uh, scheme one is the software simplified workflow for project dev and these are the issue types that are assigned to this workflow and another one is the demo workflow that we just created a story demo and task issue types will use that workflow now I'll go and hit the publish button and it will ask me uh, to current state of each issue needs to be changed so that it is compatible with the new workflow it means if i have already the story task and the demo issue types associated with my issues then i have to choose the new statuses for them let's suppose in progress development and task in development and in progress in development it is just for the testing i'm just telling you how you will map the current status with the new statuses now i'm gonna click on associate and it will take few seconds to update the workflow scheme according to the new workflow and here we have to acknowledge that i click on acknowledged your workflow has been published now now we will go and check the demo workflow should be work with story demo and task issue type we'll go to the issue i can go back to the project here and then i will click on issues i have uh, some task i have the stories as well so now i'll open the one task here and the one is story let's suppose this is dev 180 and uh, another one is dev 179 is a task i'll open this in a new tab 
here if i'll go and i'll i'll can see it's in in development because i have mapped the status from to do to uh, in development for a new workflow you can see the status is to do and qa when you will click on the view workflow here we have the workflow and this is a demo workflow you can see it's to do in development in qa and done this is exactly what we have designed so the workflow is successfully associated with the development project now and if i'll come to the uh, task and this is the same you can see it's in in development and when we will click on the view workflow we have the same workflow it means it is perfectly working now we'll check with the other issue types let's suppose uh, i'll create the other uh, issue here let's suppose it should be a project list and we did not assign that project list issue type with a demo workflow we will check uh, let's suppose it's a test issue for the workflow and then i will hit the create button and i can see click on view issue here we have a dev 182 and the issue type is project list now we'll go and check the workflow for this issue type we will click on the view workflow and here you can see it's a software simplified workflow for the project dev is associated for that particular issue type so this is how you can edit or how you can design your jira workflow and associate your jira workflow with your projects and this is the same process that i did just for the demo workflow you can try to design a demo workflow if you are learning how to create and edit the jira workflow then it is uh, good if you will go and design your own workflow with some statuses and some transitions and then associate that workflow with the projects and play around that's all for this video let's meet in the next video where we will check some advanced options of the jira workflow thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead bye